Okay, what's up guys? All right, today let's talk about my eyes. I know it's been so long since I made a video and I feel like crap, so I gotta get this out of here. I've been wanting to do this video for a long freaking time now. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen my eyes in previous videos, so I wanted to maybe kind of like show off my eyes in this one, but not really because I'm not really the guy that I'd never show off my eyes and I mostly wear my glasses. Where is, I gotta look for my glasses. There we go. This is, this is me the majority of the time. Just, I'm not really hiding. Yeah, all right, I'm, I'm kind of like hiding my eyes. I'm kind of ashamed to say it, but sometimes people maybe make a bigger, well, may, they don't, make a bigger deal out of it per se i'm just so used to it i don't really know how to react i've just i've been bo i'm born with two different color eyes and like i constantly when i take my glasses off especially if the lighting's right like it is now if the lighting's right it just hits my eyes and it pops i the other day i was at walmart actually and <laughs> this little girl she took one look at me and when i have like a white shirt on it it just pops even more but uh I had this white shirt on, buttoned up. I was looking, I looked pretty nice. And um, yeah, I looked nice in Walmart, surprisingly. And she just took took a look at me and she just, oh my God. You know, I knew exactly what she was looking at. So they just look in your eyes and then they, they're like surprised. I mean, my eyes are, they pop. Uh, they they definitely pop. Some, some people with uh, heterochromia, might not have as like as like bright of an eye or I guess yeah my my blue eye is just really vivid vivid bright and then my my brown eye is like more of like a a green it's like a it's not really like a a poopy brown it just it's just like a nice nice color I like it um but as far as this syndrome or this yeah well it's it's called Wardenberg syndrome and basically, uh, I got really lucky with with this with my eyes. Obviously, I have two other brothers. My youngest brother, he is not affected. It seems like my middle brother Garrett, he actually is born with one deaf ear. He was born with deaf ear, which I think is a good thing. That if you're if you're uh, born with something like that, like we everybody else who can hear would say it sucks, but he doesn't know what it's like. And he's gonna see this video and he might agree, I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Garrett? <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry you're deaf in one ear. I'm just really grateful that he didn't end up deaf or, you know, nobody else, No, none of my family ended up. We, basically what I'm trying to say is we got really freaking lucky because we could have all ended up with uh, a lot of disfigurements with this syndrome like I could have had really short arms my my shoulders could have been messed up even worse my my, my shoulders are so my I feel like I can pop my shoulders out of socket right now they are so weak unfortunately this syndrome affects I think it was one I'm reading let me let me make sure here yeah this syndrome affects one in 40,000 people which kind of sounds like I mean that sounds like a lot I would say apparently two to five percent of all cases of oh it accounts for two to five percent it accounts for two to five percent of all congenital hearing loss so that's that's uh yeah I guess the the bigger the big thing is like two different color eyes you could either get two other color eyes you could be really deformed we I know we all have these gray patches. This comes with the syndrome, this big old patch of gray here. My other brother, Garrett, he has it, like, worse. Um, yeah, I don't even want to grow a beard because I have too many, too much gray hair. When it's all gray, then cool, we can, I'll grow another beard. But it just looks really weird that I have a bunch of gray hair in, in my beard. It just looks kind of like, I guess my beard looks trashy. Uh, oh, yeah, I... I was reading this on uh, U.S. National Library of Medicine. 
ghr.nlm.nih.gov. That's a lot. <laughs> anyway, there, there it is. Uh, you probably, there. That's it. So that's what I was reading on there. There's probably a lot more information you could maybe read. I'm going to try to add a link in here in the description to see. Maybe that could help some of you. But, yeah, enough about the facts. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could do a quick Google search of Wardenberg syndrome, heterochromia, learn some cool facts. Uh, I was just lucky enough to be born with this. But I'm not trying to make this video, like, to to um to show off and like not be like trying to like be flashy more more so uh informative and maybe let you guys know how i feel about my eyes and that is i'm kind of i'm definitely shy when it comes to like um people looking into my eyes because like i'm all my friends they it, when we hang out and and then they we're talking to girls and stuff like that. They're just all oh, there's this go to thing is, oh my God, look at my friend's eyes. He's got two different color eyes. And I'm just like, oh no. So I, I don't know why. I, I, I guess it's just awkward looking into people's eyes. You're just like, especially guys' eyes. When like my friends say, look into his eyes and it's another dude I have, I've never met, that is the weirdest thing ever. Like, let me look into another guy's eyes intimate that's just weird man i i don't know i mean for obvious reasons okay if you don't have two different color eyes just look into another guy's eyes <laughs> uh, i don't know it's just uh, yeah it's odd and i mean as far as like as far as girls though like it's it's definitely cool when when like a girl that i like likes them that's obviously a plus i mean that's neat but sometimes when my friends like say it it's a little weird so obviously I sh I'm shy and I'm I keep my glasses on I don't I like when they say it sometimes I'll just be like no I'm I'm good I'm just not gonna take my my glasses off <laughs> yeah with all that said I uh, appreciate you guys watching this video hopefully it was informative I want to keep trying making videos even though that uh, this virus is kind of like screwing my plans up. I'm supposed to be going to travel and stuff like that, but it is it is what it is, I guess. You know, I'm, I'm not the only one affected by it, obviously. Everybody in the whole world is, uh, is affected by this. Before I go, this is my brother's and his girlfriend's apartment. I've been, I've been living here for probably like a month now, and they got this... Uh, cute cat and she just so happened to be in the background there so I just wanted to show off this little cat this little catty right here hey she's wild her name is pickle <laughs> oh she's saying hi hi all right I'll put you down you're okay she's wild wild the other day though she threw up on my Nintendo DS unfortunately bad kitty but yeah all right guys i'm gonna i'm gonna end it right here i hoped you liked it all right i'll see you in the next video peace